Hey guys, how are you today? So today I'm going to show you something that um, has to do with the secret project and also something my daughter asked me how to do. She is a student at San Jose State and she's studying advertising and graphic design and she <coughs> needed to know how to do a digital watercolor background the old-fashioned way. I won't go into the story about why she needs to know that, but the teacher, her professor said, don't you know how to do it the old-fashioned way? And she said no and came home and said, Mom, do you know how to? I said yes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all how to do it too. I am going to show her separately, but I'll show you guys how to do it too. So when I'm doing any artwork that I know for sure is going to be scanned and turned into a digital image, for any reason, especially for reprint. I try to use a smooth surface paper, Bristol vellum, hot press watercolor paper, something that's smooth with no texture because it scans better and you get a flatter, smoother scan. Okay, so this is Bristol vellum. It's pretty thick. Um, it is Canson. It's a hundred pound paper. It's not the best for watercoloring on, but for this application, it works just fine. Now, I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn it over to the back side. Yes, the back side. And I'm going to move my water closer. Okay, so we're going to take some clean, plain water and we are going to wet the back side. Why? Anybody out there know why? <laughs> some of you probably do. So if you don't wet the back side and you just work on and wet the front side, your paper is going to wrinkle and warp a lot more. You'll never get it to lay flat enough to get a good scan. So we're going to wet the back side and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to wet the front side. Now when I do this, I'm usually not shooting for creating any kind of particular picture, although you could. Um, I'm usually doing something that's pretty abstract. Um, if you're doing something smaller and you're actually doing like a picture, like when I did the watercolor feathers, I didn't need to wet both sides, but when I know I'm doing a big background and I want to um, do something abstract, you need, really need to wet both sides of the paper because you're going to get it really wet and it, it won't, it'll curl up the way you saw it was curling already and now it's flat. All right, so now we're going to take a different brush and I'm going to go into my watercolor paints. These are, P this is the PBO pocket box. And I'm going to, look at how fun that is. And it's really, it's just about, about putting paints on here in an abstract pattern, paints that blend well together. Something that creates something interesting for you to scan and it uses a background behind maybe some writing or maybe you just want to have it as a background that you reprint to use for collage paper. You could let it dry and then write on here with gel pens, markers. You could do some doodling and then scan it. Keep it flat. Don't do anything dimensional because that's going to be hard to scan. So whatever you do has to be flat. Have some fun with the process. You notice I'm using colors that blend well together. If I add yellow to this, I'm going to get brown. That's not what we want. At least it's not what I want. Now, one thing you can do is you can put, um, this is rubbing alcohol. And then let it dry. And then you have a nice background to scan. Now, if it still warps a little bit, that's okay. You can put it under something heavy or you can iron it. Yes, I said iron it. Put it between some clean, um, paper, uh, like packing paper, something thin, and then iron it with your iron. And you'll get something that's nice and flat and good for scanning. When you scan it on your computer, scan it at 600 dpi and save it as um, most of you can save it as a JPEG. That'll work. If you have the ability to save it as a vector graphics file that, uh, and you're using Photoshop, that's probably what you want to do. I'm barely learning about that, so I know nothing. I'm like an idiot when it comes to that. I need Photoshop for dummies. I'm work actually going to work on that. Um, but 
most for most of you just saving it as a jpeg and having a file of these jpeg images that you can then use to reprint to put wording on to um, use as collage paper in the future if you're going to um, reprint these for collage or something like that we're going to put wet medium on top of the reprint um, have it printed at your local office supply on a laser printer because then the ink won't run all right, that's it for today. I hope that's a quick tip. It's just a quick tip. I hope you all like it. I hope it's useful. I don't know. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.